the gang never saw the police coming. One of the first men to be arrested was a bewildered-looking Sinner Adebayo, right at the doors of his criminal business empire. As the officers investigated further, the full extent of the gang's ingenuity became clear. They'd found a very clever way of disguising some of their more valuable merchandise. We found the main lorry which was being used to export all these parts. But actually inside the middle of the lorry, hidden from any sort of view that customers would look at, was a stolen BMW X5, which was worth probably about £50,000. It was the perfect cover. Second-hand remains of dozens of vehicles hiding an expensive stolen car lurking within. Adebayo was planning to sell the entire contents of this lorry in Nigeria. Not every member of the gang gave up as easily as Adebayo. This man tried to slip quietly away from the action by driving off around the block. And he even had the cheek to eventually park up and watch his colleagues being arrested from what he thought was a safe distance. But he couldn't escape the police surveillance helicopter. This operation finalised this year at Southwark Crown Court, where Mr Adebayo pleaded guilty. The judge gave him two years imprisonment to be served here in the UK, and also recommended that he gets deported back to Nigeria after he completes his sentence. Vehicle crime accounts for nearly a quarter of reported crime in the UK, and with the market for new and used cars steadily rising, police face a constant battle with car crime gangs that are becoming even more organised and even more ruthless.